Hi there, I'm Mike and what I have for you today is the Star Wars The Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader Concept Art Edition. This was announced and shown off a few months ago at Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim. It's based off the Ralph McQuarrie art from uh, the A New Hope, you know, way back in the mid early 70s. Uh, Ralph McQuarrie was the big concept art guy. Uh, so you'll notice that these won't look very much like uh, the, the Star Wars characters that you know because it's based off very early concept art, not, not what we know. But they are essentially going to be repaints of the figures. But before we get into the figures, uh, I kind of want to show off the box. Now, um, after this was shown off <laughs> at Star Wars Celebration, it was supposed to be up for pre-order at uh, St as a Shop Disney slash maybe a Disney Park uh exclusive and uh nothing was heard about it like whatsoever nothing at all and um you know people were like wondering when is this going to come out when when is this going to come out we didn't know until randomly this last weekend at d23 which is the big disney kind of conference that showed off a bunch of stuff from upcoming marvel star wars general lucasfilm all that stuff um these were actually on sale there they are sixty dollars so uh, I know uh, old, old, I think it was Old Republic Collectibles was selling them for 80. Um, that's not the retail price. It's a little bit more than that, but you know they got to make their money. I'm not gonna, I'm not hating on that, but but if you're looking at that, thinking that price is ridiculous, um, it's it's not that much. It's not not ridiculous. Sixty dollars for essentially two figures uh, is still a little on the high side. I mean, if, if they release these both retail. This would be $25. So it'd be $50 for both as opposed to, to $60. Um, especially for, for two repaints. But I love these so much. This is this kind of stuff I, I just love getting. Uh, I love the Ralph McQuarrie looks. Uh, you know, you have like the a lot of the Ralph McQuarrie looks were used for Rebels. That's why you'll, you'll notice that the, the Darth Vader and stuff will uh, look a lot like that. But let's let's go ahead and let's actually take a look at the box real quick. Um, you can see on here. Uh, they are going to be repaints on this side. We have Darth Vader. Uh, on this side, we have an Obi-Wan Kenobi who looks nothing like uh, uh, Sir, Sir Ian. Was it Alec Guinness? Wow. He has my birthday. Like, I know who that is. I don't know why I'm having issues, but yeah, Alec Guinness, nothing like him. Uh, a little bit more of a samurai. You'll notice their, their lightsabers are a little different. Um, there's no number on this. So while it is New Hope, there's no collection number on it. Um, I think this is actually the first multi-pack that we've gotten like this. I think the, the thing that's only come close uh, is the, uh, the, 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 the Biker Scout with the, the Grogu that came from the Mandalorian. That's kind of close to this, but uh, it's not quite this. You know, this is still a little different. So we've never had anything like this before. Uh, on the back, it says, Ralph McQuarrie's contribution to the look and feel of the Star Wars galaxy is immense. His unique style provided a visual language and, and guide for the saga's costume designers, set builders, location scouts, and model makers, and laid the groundwork for a consistent Star Wars aesthetic that is still seen and felt today. The Quarry's work has and will continue to inspire artists and fans around the world for years to come. I remember when he died, uh, it, was, it was a big deal for me and like one other person at the time <laughs> that I knew, and that was pretty much it. Um, we're just going to go from the bottom because there's only two pieces of tape versus four and I am going to open this because I am an opener um, now <clears throat> there were some vintage collection uh, well not vintage collection as before vintage collection but three and three quarter inch uh, figures released way back in the day like like 2007 2008 you can actually still get them I believe on um, you can get them on eBay like still pretty cheap like they made an uh, it was a Obi-Wan and Yoda 2-pack. They had, a, uh, I think they had a Darth Vader. I know they had a Chewbacca. I know they had a Luke Skywalker. And I know they had a Stormtrooper. And the Stormtrooper was my favorite. I really hope that we get a Stormtrooper uh, in this. But I want to get these out of the package. Uh, I want to take a look at them. And then I also want to compare them to the a New Hope versions of these figures so that you can uh, kind of see the differences. I don't want to hurt this lightsaber now this is the most unique lightsabers we've had in the line so far but we'll take a look at them in just a bit let's get 
Vader out of here. I love the blue right out of the packaging. I love that blue color. Uh, I know it's, it's kind of like the carbonized Vader, which uh, carbonized, I don't know if you've heard, uh, I was on a live stream and out of the basement and Yak Face was on that live stream and he informed us that carbonized is uh, essentially going away. It's being discontinued, which I'm not gonna be sad about. It's one of those things that uh, I was happy about. I mean, I was happy when they first came out because they were kind of interesting. Uh, but after a couple of them, you're like, why am I, why am I collecting this? It went from being like a fun oddity to collect to like, ooh, let's, can we stop? Can we not? Can we not do these anymore? Um, anyways, this is not about them. It just reminded me of the Vader because uh, of how this looks. But look at this. Look at this. This, this looks great. I like this. It's very, I like the, the like kind of a really dark blue. Um, I'm colorblind. Uh, maybe it's almost navy, but definitely a dark blue. Now, uh, the big thing for me is this is the this is the Empire Strikes Back mold. So uh, if you're curious about it, there's no paint on here whatsoever, but the body has butterfly joints, and that's the big thing here. So um, this this is actually the uh, Obi Wan Kenobi Vader not the uh, New Hope Vader, like I said, but the New Hope Vader is the Kenobi. It's the exact same figure. They just uh, tuck these under the shoulder pads. And um, I think I think he's got a slightly smaller cape because the Vader one had a huge cape. But other than that, they're the, the exact same figure. So uh, I just kind of want to show you here. Let's let's zoom in. Let's take a look at these helmets. They're, they're different helmets for sure. There we go. All right. I love the extra. Oh, man, I love how just monstrous this this helmet looks. It's just it's it's evil looking like like the the harsh kind of uh, hollows in the cheek um, like this. This looks a lot more softened, <laughs> uh, whereas this looks like just evil. I love the also the more uh, angular uh, par parabolic, I guess, uh, look of the, uh, the head very, very much more reminiscent of like, um, like a Nazi helmet or, or something like that, which is, you know, what, what they were kind of, he was kind of very much re uh, representative of, uh, they also, he's got like a tattered lower. Let me, let me get back out here now that we're not looking at the face anymore. Uh, the lower cape, is kind of tattered there, which I like. It's not tattered. I guess it's kind of tattered. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's got some peaks and valleys there. I guess tattered is a way to do it, but there's no, there's no like holes or anything. It's just kind of, it's not uniform across the bottom like, like Vader's is. I actually really like this Vader. And honestly, with the, with the updated, uh, articulation on it this might low-key be my new favorite vader i kind of what i want to do is see if i can get these uh because <clears throat> there's like some excess under under robe <laughs> i, I kind of want to see if i can tuck it in more underneath the, the pauldrons to kind of make it look a little bit a little bit better because I, I don't like how how far it sticks out. Now you could probably trim it down, but you shouldn't have to. Uh, now he does have a little spot to hook in the lightsaber. They both come with the exact same lightsaber. I don't remember which one is which, but it doesn't matter because uh, it's the same. Um, also, you know, same problem we have with every other Vader that Hasbro's released uh, is that he he needs an alternate hand like that TVC one with the alternate hands, gloved hand, all that stuff. Great, love it. Wish wish we had that here. So yeah, I, I wish there was a little bit more painting on like the chest plate and on here, but that's not that big of a deal for me, I guess, because it's not what's really noticeable about this. That headpiece, I really don't like how far this robe sticks out from from under that shoulder. I, I wish it kind of looked a little bit more uniform. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to play around with that to kind of get it looking a little bit better. But I definitely like, I like this a lot. Let's see if I can get him in a kind of a cool pose here. 
Now articulation, if you ever if you ever done like a if you ever played with the Empire Strikes Back Vader, it's the it's the same Vader. So let's kind of let's kind of do this here. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, and we're gonna put this Vader away just real quick. And we're gonna take a look at this Obi-Wan. Now, this Obi-Wan is 100% from head to toe, just the uh, the old Ben Kenobi, uh, but with uh, some blue painted on him. So uh, to kind of show you what I mean here, this is, let me let me get, I don't know, I don't know why to do this off camera. Uh, you can see this old articulation is bending his lightsaber because he can't get his hands close enough together. Now this is actually the Obi-Wan from the Cantina Showdown set. Uh, and the way you'll know that is he has uh, updated face printing. So while the original Obi-Wan already looked great, this one looks even better. So um, here, here is, uh, it's, it's kind of pointless to to show off the faces. He kind of looks a little bit more like uh, Professor X, kind of like uh, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> He's got like a, like a Picard feature with that skull, that skull cap hairdo right there. But uh, yeah, looking looking at the at the body here, this is painted, but the, the sculpting's all the same. The sleeves, all the same. This, all right here. Everything's the same. I like this little bit of silver right there. So basically what they did was their whole paint budget? I think they they went to uh, to this guy and Vader here got no paint whatsoever. Um, and again, that's okay uh, because it, it gets the point across. You know, it does exactly uh, what I want it to do, and that is uh, look like a Macquarie esque Obi Wan and uh, and Vader. Now it's it's not perfect. Uh, if you look back at the art itself, or even at like the, the old vintage, no, it's not, vin is, it, is it vintage if they came out in 2008? <laughs> is, is that technically vintage now? Cause like when, I remember, I remember when Power of the Force 2 came out, like 95, 96, uh, and people were calling the, the figures from the eighties vintage. And that was like a 10 year period. Whereas, you know, <laughs> the, the, uh, the 2008 figures are more than 10 years old. So they're technically, if we're going by that same guideline, that's that's still vintage here. Um, I'm not gonna mess with this too much here. Uh, it's He's got kind of the same problems as Obi-Wan where this long skirt is very, uh, it hinders the articulation. He's just got white pants under there if you're curious. Um, but I don't know, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna be putting this Obi-Wan in crazy, crazy poses or anything. Um, I like the kind of milky white saber color that these have because that is indicative of uh, it's it's what they had in the concept art. There weren't colors uh, in the concept art, not the not the original concept art. Like you got that cool one with uh, Luke and Vader in the hallway with what looks like uh, kind of respirators on. Uh, I'm, prob I'm probably showing that on screen right now. And those those lightsabers are kind of clear and very much look like like this. Uh, and it's kind of, they had some cool stuff like the lightsabers um, look like they had to be plugged into like power sources or something like that. Um, anyways, yeah, I, I really dig this. I think these are really cool. Uh, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And you know, if you're looking at this, you're like, I'm not spending my money on that. I totally get it because this is not anything from the movies. These are figures you probably already have before. Uh, this is this is for a very niche audience that I happen to fall into, both as a Black Series completionist and as a love for that early Star Wars stuff. In fact, if you wanna kinda see more of that early Star Wars stuff, number one, uh, Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, takes a lot of inspiration from Ralph McQuarrie early designs uh, with how the look of like the lightsabers, Zeb, is basically uh, Chewbacca uh, from from the con concept art. Well, I just kind of forgot words there for a second. Uh, but but if you want more, there was a comic series published by Dark Horse back in I want to say twenty ten or so. I w somewhere back in in that range, maybe twenty 
2011. Um, but it was called The Star Wars, and it was based off of George Lucas's uh, early draft for Star Wars. So everything's there, but everything's kind of mixed up and crazy and uh, kind of backwards. You're like, well, who's this? Why is this? You know, because that's how the story originally was. Uh, and, and the designs use a lot of these old Macquarie uh, art designs. So again, if you uh, if you are into this, if you want this, if this is up your alley, cool. If not, honestly, you could probably safely pass on it. I'm happy I have this. It's going to look great on my shelf. Um, definitely going to uh, going to enjoy this, and I hope they do more. Like I said, I definitely want a Stormtrooper. Uh, maybe if they continue on with the two packs, we'll get like a, a Luke and Stormtrooper concept art. That would be really cool. So let me know down in the downstairs area. Do you like the concept art? Is this something that is cool for you? Are you passing? And if you if you are into it, what else do you want to see? Uh, you know, I love to read and respond to the comments when I can. I'd also love to take a moment and thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at a Black Series level or higher. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Just want to take a look at these figures real quick. Uh, it's nothing brand new. Uh, the Vader we've seen before, the Obi-Wan we've seen before, they just look different. Uh, and it's kind of, I really love this Vader head. Mwah, so good. But yeah, uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Have, have a great day. I think I, I said I'll see you next time already, and that's what I usually say at the end. Anyways, bye.